hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and for today's video i'm gonna show you how to use qq chinese so first let's go to the application just double click on that or you can click right and open and afterwards you will be redirected to a new window in which you will be using your logins so you can put your username and the password afterwards just click the blue button to log in after clicking the blue button you will be redirected to a new window which looks like this and also you can resize this to make it smaller or to make it wider now lo let's talk about this one by one first let me talk about how I changed my display picture and the theme. So first, let's just click on the picture. And afterwards, another window will be popping up. You can just double click this to drag. Okay, so I, let's do it. Now, if you want to upload a new picture you just click on the themes or the t-shirt icon just click on that and you can choose a picture in which what you the picture that you want now for this one i'll be choosing uh, the akad sock log logo and you can resize this you can zoom in or zoom out once you're done adjusting, you can click the leftmost button which says OK. And it will be shown here. Now, what if I want to change the picture? Again, just click it. And click the leftmost button to upload a new picture. For example, I'll be choosing this one. Yeah, so it's like that. Just double click, just always double click on the picture and then it will be uploaded. So again, you can zoom in or zoom out the picture. But since we are using the QQ Chinese application for educational purposes, we are not allowed to upload pictures like this. So it should be presentable and formal. Again, you can zoom in or out your picture. If you're done, if you're satisfied with the picture, you can click OK or the blue button on the leftmost side of the screen. And then it will be uploaded. Okay, now let's talk about the name, the gender, and the bio. Just click on the this Chinese character. Just click. And then you can edit your information, your name, and the birthday, and also the gender, male and female, and also your bio. Now, say for example, I've changed the bio to let's learn English. All of the changes that has had been made can be saved by clicking the, the leftmost button and then it will be saved. Now let's minimize this one and let's talk about the sections here and a little tip for changing the bio. Also you can click this one and you can type and enter if you want to change your bio you can also add emojis like love and then enter and then it will be saved now how do I search for my students QQ number for example in your class the uh, in the class details or in Akadsox page, you can copy the QQ number of the student 
and you can type it here I'm just gonna show you how to search you just uh, just look for I'm just typing random numbers here and you just go to just uh, place the cursor here and you can notice that there is an add friend button and a message or a text box icon so you can click add and then you just wait for him or her to respond to your friend request and then you can start chatting and if you want to look for the details you can click on the picture and you will be redirected to his page or his information now how about these three sections the first section is for the contacts or you are already friends with all uh, these contacts the second one is the group chat and the last one is the link for or links for games or for another website in which these two are unnecessary for us to use I'm saying this uh, in a perspective of a tutor, so this is used for an educational purpose. But if you're using this for um, for just to communicate with other with with friends, you can, of course you can use the group chat. But for in my but in my case, I'll be using just the contacts. And if you wanna go to the chat box of yours uh, of a certain context you can double click on that just wait for a while you just double click and another window will be popping up in which it shows the history uh, your chat history so let me show you the functions of of uh, this one we have emojis, we have GIF, snipping tool, folder, we have, um, you can also upload pictures and sounds. So as you could notice here, we have C, C is for cancel, and S is for sending your message. Now for example, I've typed and when I click enter, it will automatically send. Now, if I change my mind in sending, I just click cancel. Then yes. Okay. Now, if you want to call someone, just again double click on the name. And just click uh, here in the uppermost part of the chat box. We have here audio call or video call there and then uh, this application is of good quality the video is clear the, the audio also is clear so yeah I really recommend so yeah that's basically what you need to know on how to use QQ application it's just like messenger or it's like Skype so yeah if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for me to make a lot of a lot more videos for you thank you